If you've noticed swollen ankles or feet recently, then you're not alone. This is actually a very common symptom, and for many people, it's actually harmless and temporary. But sometimes, swelling in the lower legs can be your body's way of telling you something needs attention by a doctor. So today, I'm going to explain 10 of the most common reasons your ankles or feet might swell, what signs to look out for, and importantly, when you should get medical attention. I'm Dr. Donovan, a UK licensed medical doctor with over 10 years of clinical experience. And before we start this video, this is just a gentle reminder that the video is intended for general information and education only. It can't diagnose you, and it's not a substitute for speaking to your own doctor or nurse. So if you're worried about swelling, especially if it appeared suddenly, or you're feeling unwell, please speak to your own healthcare provider. So now let's start with one of the most simple causes, and that is injury. If you've twisted your ankle, tripped, missed a step, or knocked your foot, it's very common to develop swelling. Now this happens because the body sends extra fluid to the area to help repair the tissues, kind of like your body's natural bandage. Now this type of swelling usually just affects one foot or ankle, comes on soon after the injury, and it may be painful, or you might develop bruising a couple of hours or days later. Now, if the swelling is very severe, if you can't put weight on your foot, or things don't start to improve after a couple of days, it's worth getting checked. Sometimes sprains or fractures do need treatment. Now, cause two of swollen ankles and feet is actually pregnancy. Swollen feet and ankles are very common during pregnancy, especially later on during pregnancy. This is because the body holds more fluid and the growing baby puts pressure on the big veins in the pelvis, slowing blood return from the legs. Now you might notice things like swelling in both legs, the swelling being worse at the end of the day, and it being better if you lie down and put your feet up. However, swelling can very occasionally be a sign of a serious condition in pregnancy called preeclampsia. Now, this is when blood pressure becomes dangerously high in pregnancy. Warning signs of preeclampsia include sudden swelling in the face, hands, or around the eyes, severe headache, vision changes like flashing lights, or even pain under the ribs. Now, if you're pregnant and you notice swelling with any of these symptoms, please do seek urgent medical help and make sure that you get your blood pressure taken. Now, cause three are medicines. Now, some medicines can cause swelling because they affect how your body handles fluid or blood pressure. Now, common examples of medications that can lead to ankle or feet swelling include amlodipine, nifedipine, diltiazem, and verapamil. These are used for high blood pressure and heart conditions, and they relax blood vessels, which can cause fluid to collect around the ankles. Now, the second medication that can cause swelling around the ankles and feet is pyoglitazone. This is a diabetes medication that can cause the body to hold on to extra fluid. The next are ibuprofen, naproxen, or diclofenac. These are anti-inflammatory painkillers that can affect kidney function and fluid balance. Prednisolone, which is a steroid medication, can also cause swelling of the ankles, as can some antidepressants like metazapine, which can affect fluid balance in some people, and also hormone treatments like HRT or some contraceptive pills. If you started swelling after beginning a new medication, don't stop it suddenly. Instead, speak to your doctor or pharmacist. There are often alternatives or dose adjustments that can help. Now, cause four of swollen ankles and feet is infection, especially cellulitis. Now, if one foot or ankle suddenly becomes swollen, red, hot, and painful, or if you feel unwell and feverish along with this, it may be a sign of an infection called cellulitis. Now, this happens when bacteria get into the skin, which can spread quickly if not treated. This usually needs antibiotics, and it's important not to ignore it. If you're worried about an infection, please get medical advice on the same day. Now, next is poor circulation in the legs. Inside the veins, in our legs, are tiny little valves. Think of them like one-way doors that help push blood back up towards the heart. Now, as we get older, or after blood clots or long periods of sitting or standing, these valves can weaken. That means that blood doesn't move as efficiently and fluid can collect around the ankles. This is called venous insufficiency, but you don't need to remember the term. Key symptoms include puffy ankles, usually on both sides, achy or what people describe as heavy legs, varicose veins, which look like this, dry or itchy skin around the ankles. Now, moving around more often, raising your legs when resting, so for example, putting them on a stool, and wearing compression stockings, if advised by a clinician, can help. 
If swelling is persistent, it's a good idea to get reviewed. Now, number six is a blood clot called a deep vein thrombosis or DVT. Now, a DVT is a blood clot in the deep vein, usually in one leg. It typically causes swelling on just one side, often with pain, tenderness, warmth, or redness in the calf. Now, these symptoms might sound quite similar to the previous cause we discussed, which was cellulitis. And it's really important that you get both of these potential issues checked out, especially a DVT, because it can be life-threatening. Now, a DVT can happen after a long haul travel. So for example, if you've been on a long flight, if you've been unwell in bed, after surgery, or with certain hormones, or if you smoke. Now, a DVT, like I mentioned, needs urgent treatment because there's a risk that the clot could block off and travel to the lungs. Now, if you're worried about a DVT, please seek urgent medical care. Don't wait, it's so important that I stress this. Now, the next cause is lymphedema. Your lymphatic system helps to drain extra fluid from the body. Now, if it's not working properly, for example, after cancer treatment, infections, or due to a condition you're born with, fluid can build up slowly over time. Now, this swelling usually affects both legs. It doesn't go down much, even when you elevate your feet, and it can make the skin feel thick or heavy over time. Now, specialist lymphedema nurses, physiotherapists, and compression treatments can help manage it, and please ask your healthcare team for support. Now, the next problem that can lead to swollen ankles or feet are actually heart problems. Sometimes swelling in both legs can happen if the heart is struggling to pump blood effectively, a condition called heart failure. Now, if the heart isn't pumping strongly enough, fluid can build up in the body, often starting in the ankles. Now, other signs can include getting short of breath easily, feeling tired or weak, needing extra pillows to sleep comfortably, or even waking up breathless at night. Similarly, when you press down on the leg, you might notice something called pitting edema. This is where when you press with a finger and you take your hand away, there can be an indent or mark left in the skin, showing that there's extra fluid being retained in the ankles or legs. Now, this just isn't isolated to heart failure, but it's an important sign to go get checked out if you do notice it. Now, if you do notice swelling with any of the symptoms I spoke about, please do speak to a doctor who'll be able to take a history, assess you, examine you, and order any further tests if needed. Now, the next problem we're going to talk about that can lead to swollen feet and ankles are actually kidney problems. Now, the kidneys help to control salt and fluid levels in the body. If they're not working well, fluid can build up, leading to swelling, even sometimes around the eyes in the morning and the legs later in the day. Now, this can happen in people with diabetes that's poorly controlled, high blood pressure, or known kidney disease. And if this sounds like you, and you've noticed new swelling in the feet and ankles, please get checked. And finally, at number 10, are actually liver problems. In advanced liver disease, the body may not make enough protein in the blood, and fluid can then end up leaking into the tissues. This causes swelling in the legs, and sometimes a swollen tummy called ascites, which looks like this. Now, I've made a whole video on skin signs of liver disease, which you can check out in your own time. But if you think you have liver disease, you've got a history of drinking high levels of alcohol, or you're concerned about this, please do seek help from your doctor. Now, in terms of seeking urgent medical care, make sure that you seek urgent care if you've got sudden swelling in one leg, swelling with chest pain or sudden breathlessness, red, hot, painful skin and feeling unwell, rapid or severe swelling of the legs during pregnancy, swelling with fainting, confusion or dizziness, and make sure that you don't ignore swelling that lasts more than a few days without understanding what the cause is, is getting worse, or simply if you're unsure about it, always trust your instincts. It's always okay to ask for help, and swollen ankles and feet don't always mean something serious, but they are a sign from your body. Most causes can be managed once we understand what's driving them. And if in doubt, always speak to a healthcare professional. And for more information, check out the evidence-based resources in the description box. Finally, why not check out this video next?